Hello and welcome to this screencast. I'm Matthew Ravel and over the next few minutes I'm going to show you a new launchpad feature called Source Package Builds. This is where you take one or more bizarre branches of source, a bizarre branch with packaging information, and then write something called a recipe that tells Launchpad how to tie it all together and create a package in your PPA. This is great if, for example, you want to make it really easy to test the latest tip of your trunk. Instead of giving a tarball and some instructions on manually installing it, all you have to do is give people a PPA and a package name. Even better, Launchpad, if you choose, will automatically rebuild your package every day that it sees a change in one of your bizarre branches. And of course, Ubuntu will automatically inform your testers that there's an update to the package, just as it would with any other package. You'll need to install the Bizarre Builder plugin before you try anything that I show you in this screencast. Okay, well let's see it in action by taking a look at a little project called Wicked, which is a bizarre backed wiki. So we'll create a Wicked recipe. Now we start off all recipes by declaring that it's a Bizarre Builder recipe. And the format, at the moment that's 0 0.3. And then we tell um, Bizarre Builder how we want to create the version of the package. This is a standard way to start all recipes. So here I've chosen to use the version of the upstream. And that's a, a variable there, a placement variable. And then I'm adding the revision number of the main branch that we're using. And then I'm using the revision number from a branch that I'm going to give the nickname packaging. Now I specify the branch that we're going to use. It could be any branch in Launchpad though, and it can also be something that you've imported. Now, here are some different options then. I can, I could if I wanted to, nest a branch which I'm giving the nickname documentation. And nesting means that you bring in the branch whole and place it at a certain location within the master branch. So I'm putting it into a directory within the Wicked branch called documentation. But that's not what we're going to do here. There's an alternative, which is nest part, which is new to format 0 0.3. And I'm giving it the name packaging, which you can see up here. So that's where those two link up together. And nest part basically takes one directory from the branch that you specify and puts it in the directory that you specify for the other branch. Now, if Wicked were packaged in Ubuntu and it all worked, uh, the, the packaging was appropriate, I could take the Ubuntu source package branch and use the Debian directory from there. But that's not what we're going to do here. I'm going to merge in a branch that Tim Penhey, the author of Wicked, has created specifically for his own um, daily build of Wicked. And this will act just like a normal bizarre merge. Okay, so let's have a look at that. And there we are, there's our first Bizarre Builder recipe. Now before we can upload the recipe to Launchpad, we need to test it locally to make sure that it that it works, um, so that we don't waste our time on the Launchpad build farm. So let's use the daily deb command from Bazaar, which uh, comes with the Bazaar Builder plugin, and we'll specify the recipe and specify a directory into which it should place the results. Okay, so it's going to start off by pulling down the Wicked trunk, which is our main branch, and it will put that into a directory inside the working directory that is named after the substitution variables that you specified in the recipe. Now it brings down Tim's packaging branch. And with the branches merged, it builds the source package. So the build's finished, now let's have a look in the working directory and see our source package. And also let's look at the result of the merging of the two branches. 
you can see here the Debian directory is present which wasn't in the wicked trunk originally anyway now let's build the binary package if you're familiar with packaging already then you've most likely heard of pbuilder pbuilder gives you a minimal ubuntu installation in a cheroot that allows you to build your packages in a clean environment regardless of whatever else you have installed in your main ubuntu installation so that gives you an environment that's much closer to what you'd find in the launchpad build farm once pbuild is installed, we just need to let it know which components we're interested in. Obviously, if you've already been using pbuilder for packaging and building packages, you won't need this step. So now we create that clean environment by running pbuilder create. And we have a cup of tea, because it takes a few minutes. The recipe works, the package builds, it's time to send the recipe to Launchpad. Here's Wicked's code page in Launchpad. Now we'll click on the, uh, the trunk branch, and it's the branch overview page where you create a recipe in Launchpad, you, where you set up the, the, the source package build. So, like many things, you need to give it a name. In this case, I'm gonna call it Wicked Testing. Then a, a short description, which is useful for people who are browsing through daily builds in Launchpad um, so they get an idea of what it is you're trying to achieve. And then I can select myself as the owner or any of the teams that I'm either directly or indirectly a member of. So I'll select myself as the owner. And then the next option is whether you want it built daily or not. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if, it, if you have this selected, then Launchpad will automatically rebuild the package on any day that it notices a change in one of the constituent bizarre branches and I'm going to have the daily build automatically put into my, my own PPA and I'm happy with it being just for Maverick and now we'll paste in the recipe that I showed you earlier and there you go simple as that create recipe and launchpad will check the the syntax of the recipe just in case there are any glaring errors Right, and you can see that here's the overview for the for the recipe. And I'm going to request a build now, even though um, Launchpad would have built it fairly soon anyway. I'll request a, a build manually, just so you can see how that works. And again, I have the option of where to put this manually requested build. I'm going to put it in my own PPA. And there you go. Look, it's going to probably be complete in about 10 minutes, which isn't bad at all. Click on pending build, which takes us to the the build overview page, the job the job page. Let's go start in ten, 4 seconds and end in about 10 minutes. So come back when we've got an email. When the build's ready, Launchpad sends an email and it tells you a little bit about what's gone on. So the state is successfully built. And it just reminds you which recipe we're talking about, where it's put it, and how long it took, three minutes, not bad at all. And there's a build log if you're really interested in that, which would be more interesting obviously if something went wrong. And we can go over to the build overview page itself and there it is it's in my PPA we'll follow that link scroll down now all that's left is to install our package how exciting so let's add the PPA it's just my normal PPA here and do an update and now install the package itself. So let's think about this. We took two bizarre branches, added a short recipe that tied them together, and Launchpad went away, built a package for us, and it will carry on building that package every day that it sees a change in one of those branches. Simple as that. Thanks very much for watching. For more about source package builds in Launchpad, go to help.launchpad.net and follow the links. And of course, you can also join us in hash Launchpad on the Freenode IRC network. Thank you and goodbye.